It's official. New Zealand's economy is not in recession. The latest GDP figures show growth rather than contraction, but it's slow and rather flat. It also means the National Party might have to find a new attack line on Labour's economic chops. Here's political reporter Lloyd Burr. It wasn't just the National Party's message Luxon was spreading in Southland, but the filling for its delicacy. OK, so to the corners is the key bit. Yep. The almighty cheese roll. Not too tight. And it wasn't just the bread rolling today, but the economy rolling out of recession, with GDP growing 0.9% in the last quarter. Well, I certainly think it's a victory for the New Zealand economy and for the people who work hard every single day to make sure that we deliver good quality jobs. The recession's been one of the main attack lines for the Nats. We are the only country in the Asia-Pacific region in a recession. Not anymore, meaning they'll need new ammunition. Can the Nats credibly accuse you of poor economic management anymore? Absolutely not. Um, the New Zealand economy is not in recession and it's not been in recession. It feels like a recession. And we can have a big debate about the technical numbers, but that is the cold, hard reality. While National won't scale back its attack line, Act has had to scale back its promised tax cuts. After six years of Grant Robertson's budget, uh, there's no gas left in the tank. The cupboard is bare, he's spent it all. The government's economic management still being rubbished, despite the GDP figures. And Luxon's still claiming the economy's cooked, and he'd be the better chef. It's looking good. It's looking really good, I reckon. Chris Hipkins has the sausage roll. Could the new roll du jour for the beehive be the good old Southland cheese roll? The role they both really want, though, is Prime Minister, and it all boils down to the economy. We have to rediscover how to grow this economy. One way Luxon's proposing to boost that growth, return international student levels to pre-COVID. That's 55,000 international students. Their visas will be fast-tracked within a fortnight if they pay an undetermined fee. Their working hours limit will be extended and their partners can work as well. And they don't want the focus to solely be on Asia. We've got one of the lowest diversity, only nine countries that we source most of our students from. Mm. So we really need to be looking at the economies that are growing fast. We're seeing international education rebounding after the pandemic. Uh, we, we attract a lot of international students from China. That's been slower to warm up again after the pandemic, not just for New Zealand. It begs another question too. Who's going to process the visas, though, if you're gutting the backroom staff? Uh, what we're doing is we're making sure we can deliver frontline services, uh, but we want every resource focused on delivering outcomes. Delivering cheese rolls today, though. That's 10 out of 10. There's no doubt about it. I mean, that is perfection. A cheesy photo op is one thing. Delivering all his promises won't be as easy or as tasty. Lloyd Byrne, News Hub.